Shafilia Ahmed, Kandil Baloch, Samia Sarwar. There is something that these three women all have in common. They've all been murdered, supposedly, to protect their honor. Hello, my name is Zainab Rashid, and today I'm going to be talking to you about honor killings, a topic which is really close to my heart and a topic which not everyone our age knows about, but should. First of all, to explain the basics, what even is an honor killing? An honor killing is when a person from someone's own family murders them for disgracing the family name. And yes, as you've guessed, it mostly happens to women. Now, I hear you ask, why women? It's because women, especially in my kind of community, in the Asian community, have a habit of being oppressed, have a habit of being blamed have a habit of not being called the victim, but the perpetrator. And this is something that needs to change. In Pakistan in last year, 1,100 women were killed, all in the name of honor. Women can be killed simply for doing something like refusing a marriage proposal or escaping an abusive marriage. But don't feel sorry for them. You shouldn't feel sorry for them. It's their fault. They ran away from their marriage, and now that third cousin all the way in America is talking about it. That auntie that she doesn't even know has found out about it from some family wedding. Her whole family has been disgraced, all because of her. Now, I want you to imagine something. Imagine that you are a 16-year-old girl, the daughter of British and Pakistani people. You're 16, and you have big hopes, big dreams, just like any other schoolgirl. You have aspirations of becoming a lawyer. Your teachers say that you're extremely bright and will 100% get what you want in life. But your parents have other plans for you. Hands up how many people here have ever worn a t-shirt before? That's a lot of you, right? A t-shirt. One day, she came home wearing something as mundane as a t-shirt, but by showing her arms, her mother instantly started screaming at her and saying that she was disgracing the family name for not covering up. She was acting like a slut. So her mother drugged her and took her off to Pakistan to be forcibly married to a man 20 years older than her. So what does she do? She opens the bathroom cabinet, unscrews the bottle, and drinks the bleach. Death is instantaneous and painful. And what you just heard was the story of Shafilia Ahmed, the first name mentioned, a 16-year-old. She was not a burden. She was not a disgrace, and neither am I. Let's remind our daughters of this and make a better world for women in the future, because there is no honor in killing. Thank you.